Developing tonight, KCK police are looking at several leads in a weekend mass shooting. And one person died and we know uh, 10 others were hurt when gunfire erupted at a party this weekend near 16th in Minnesota. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post is live at KCK police headquarters tonight. Belinda, police are trying now to crack down on gang violence in the area. The KCK police chief says that rival gangs started firing guns at each other in the middle of a party on Saturday night. He says there were about 150 people there and it was totally reckless. Now 27 year old Kevin Foreman's family is mourning his death. If I could change anything, I, I would give my life for my baby. <laughs> Joseph Foreman says his family's living a nightmare. His brother Kevin Foreman was rapping at a party for mostly teens on Saturday night. Foreman says his brother was an innocent bystander in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, it's just terrible to know that, you know, he, he, he died by himself, you know. Police say the horseless carriage, which serves as an event space, didn't have a business license to hold gatherings or a liquor license to have alcohol. They add for the size of the party, it should have had two security guards, but there were none. If they had followed the licensing, they would have had security, and so that might have been able to prevent this. Rival gangs hit 10 people, killing Foreman, a young father with a big heart. Four 17-year-olds were shot. Gunshots started when rapper Lindell Robinson was performing. The lyrics that he was rapping was not well received by a gang that was the one of the gangs that came through and started shooting. Robinson posted this message on Facebook publicly, saying he apologizes and shouldn't have come. Now KCK police and the U.S. Marshal's Office are working to stop gang violence. First, probably pick off everybody that's got warrants. That would be the first sweep. Ziegler says the DA's office is on board to seek higher prosecution, something Foreman says is necessary. Nothing will be better until violence just comes to an end. The family has set up a GoFundMe to pay for Foreman's funeral expenses and to help his fiance and young son. Investigators here at KCK Police Headquarters continue to go through suspect leads. They say there were multiple shooters and they are happy people in the community are coming forward. Reporting in KCK, Belinda Post, 41 Action News.